Welcome, everyone, to Midday Magazine for this April 2nd, 2024. I have your host, James J. Mailoff here, and we're welcoming into the studio our great friends from the South Oak County YMCA. We have Stephanie Lund with us, Community Events Coordinator. Stephanie, good to see you. Good to see you. Well. Thanks for being here, as always. Good to see you. Thanks. And Baxter Arndt is with us, Sports and Camp Director. Baxter, always good to see you. It's great to be here. Appreciate you guys, and big appreciation to Tri-City Services sponsoring this segment, giving us an opportunity to catch up with our why. We appreciate that. Um, you guys doing good? Everybody doing well over at the Y? Things going well? We are. The Y is definitely busy. It's happening right now. Yeah, so yeah, good. it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I don't know how this happened, but it seems to have gotten even busier mm-hmm. since the last time you guys joined us. It, is, it wasn't that long ago either. <laughs> uh, I cannot, I, my parents live over there, so I drive past that building every day, at least a couple times a day, and it's always busy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we encourage you to uh, get one of your vehicles over there and make it busy as well and enjoy the uh, Southwood County YMCA, especially with some of these events we have coming up, Stephanie. I'd like to dive into those. We have our uh, Healthy Healthy Kids Day coming up right around the corner. Yes, we do. It's on Saturday, April 20th from 11 to 1. It's a free event for our community, so we want to get kids and families out. There's a lot of different activities we're going to have at the Y. We have vendors that are coming um, that are going to just promote healthy habits for kids and physical activity. Um, the y, Ys across the country host this event. Um, it's been going on for over 30 years now, and so it's a, a fun way to get the community involved. Um, we do a lot of nutrition education. We do some relay races. We'll have Gaga Ball in the gym. <laughs> um, and then we also have uh, the, f- the police department, fire department. They're coming out with their vehicles. We have some garbage trucks and tow trucks. So we'll kind of a little touch a truck outside as well nice. and some food vendors. So it'll be a, a fun day for the family to come on out. Anytime we have our fire departments or police departments uh, at these events, it builds that bridge uh, between community and them. I talked with Sheriff, actually I'll have Sheriff Becker in tomorrow, I'll be talking mm-hmm. with him about it. Um, and I know how much they love these events. Mm-hmm. They love being a part of these events. It's it's such a, I don't want to say a break, but for lack of a better word for them and their industries and what they do. Um, that's all really good and, and fun. And it's going to be fun to have them a part of this. But one of the things I appreciate about our, our why, and really why's around the country, as you, you noted there, um, it's one thing way we want kids to be more active we want kids to be outside more but that's it doesn't just stop there then they give you opportunities to do these things Mm -hmm. so it's not just preaching to you it's also helping your community uh that's something that i I really respect about our why and and i respect about the why in general an event like this is a, a, a perfect event for something like this again it's a free event so keep that in mind everybody this might be a chance for you to sample the why and find out why we love it so much and why we sign up every year for another membership um and there's other great activities that are going to be a part of this event too Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I see a great list here. Vendors, you're going to have games and crafts. You touched on a little of this. Yeah, we have some face painters. They're going to come out so they can get their faces painted. We have free vision screenings as well. Mm-hmm. So for mm-hmm. those kiddos that maybe might be struggling, or maybe not even know that they're struggling with their vision, um, parents can have their kids get their eyes tested a little bit. The pool will be open so nice. everybody can come swim as well. So it'll be, it'll be a fun event. Last year we had over 400 people come. This nice. year we're expecting even more. Oh, so. yeah, we could talk that we can, we can top that let's do it uh and and keep in mind as well there will be food down there you'll have some food trucks yeah we do have a few food trucks that will be out there as well and especially because this is lunchtime so from yeah. 11 to 1 if you come hungry there there will be some food to eat and uh stephanie i don't want to put you on the spot here or anything we can edit this out we can change this mm-hmm. or whatever but i see free bike raffle is that right is that a free bike raffle it is last year we were able to get a few donors to um just donate some money so we were able to go purchase some bikes so bikes for um, toddlers that have training wheels and then we had one adult bike as well so i think we had five bikes last year this year i think we have four right now cool. that have been donated and so you just as long as you come to the event you'll put your name and number and we'll draw towards the end of the event and somebody you could possibly win a free bike with a helmet i don't care if your last name is bring <laughs> uh winning a winning a bike is cool mm-hmm. uh and, and and that always feels good i, I read that and I immediately turned tw- i was 12 <laughs> when I was reading, out, ooh, a free bike. Um, that's a, a really cool thing. Shout out to the people volunteer or donating those, mm-hmm. certainly. And again, another step in that direction of the why saying, you know, we want kids to be out there more. We want them to exercise more, do more. Here's another one of those ways that you're helping people do that. Uh, you know, being able to give away bikes and stuff. That's a really, a really, really fun thing to be able to add to this event. Um, and and uh, it is, if there are people out there, we've got this coming up on the 20th. So if there are sponsors or anybody out there like that, can they 
they still be a part of this absolutely event? we are always welcoming more sponsors i mean the more we get the more we can offer and give I mean, we can buy a couple more bikes for the kids we can um, purchase more uh, healthy snacks for the kiddos as well so if anybody's interested definitely reach out to me <laughs> is there uh, any registration needed or anything like that nope not at all. So just anybody show just show up and come and have some fun. Oh, uh, it's going to be a really good event. We'll be highlighting it and talking about it on our shows. Again, the South Oak County YMCA uh, Healthiest Kids Day coming up April 20th, 11 to 1 over at our South Oak County YMCA. Um, and we have other great events coming up as well uh, that we wanted to touch on, Stephanie. We do. So the next one after that is just two weeks later. On mm. May 3rd, we are offering our first ever senior social. So it's for active older adults that are 55 plus. We're going to be hosting this, this event over at Camp Alexander. So it'll be a fun way to get people out to camp. We plan on having a lot of different activities. So it's from 6 to 8.30 p.m. We'll have some food, drinks. We'll have a photo booth. We have a DJ coming. So there will be some dancing. We'll have games for people to play. We'll have some raffles. And then we're going to have a on fire as well. Oh, nice. So this is going to be a great chance for the seniors to come on out and, you know, whether you bring your friends to this or meet some new people, this will be a, a great way to be interactive. It's a fun event and we need a big turnout for this. Mm -hmm. I mean, a really big turnout for this because I want this around in another 10 years when I'm able to be able to be a part <laughs> of it and everything. Uh, this is a really cool idea. We, mm -hmm. the, um, I think that um, our, our, just as a, a community member and stuff, and I think a lot of people that I talk to about the why, we tend to focus on the youth a lot mm -hmm. and, and understandably so a, a lot of the great work that you guys do over there is focused on the youth but that's not the only work you guys are doing over there another big part of what the wise focus is is our seniors and we have a very big senior population in this area so being able to help them any ways possible is fantastic but giving uh, having events that are geared towards them that's pretty rare mm -hmm. we, we don't have a lot of that we could use more of that again we have a big population in this area so it's a smart idea and it's also just a fun idea. Mm -hmm. Like this is a great way for to get out of the house to get to do some stuff, maybe meet some new people. Absolutely. Oh. So we've done father daughter dances in the past. <laughs> so you know, for dads and the girls, but we're like, you know, seniors like to dance too. Why not get uh. on out? So let's put an event and have some fun. So we definitely. I mean, this is the first time we've ever offered this, so we don't know how it's going to go, but we have a lot of ideas and I think it'll be a, a great time. Well, and, and and that's a good note and I appreciate you sharing that because if you are a senior and you're going to attend this, it's something to keep in mind that you might have some notes or you might have some, hey, this went great. Don't change a thing. <laughs> you know, something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, we can have more of these events if they we have people attend them. Mm -hmm. You know, the more uh, we have a, a good turnout, the more, oh, wow, they really turned out for this. We should have more events like this. Mm -hmm. So that's another great way of making these things happen. And this is taking place over at Camp Alexander. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I love camp. It's great. It's great. And it's a great event, too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with the event, is there anything else to keep in mind? Uh, you, did you, you mention the raffle? Uh, yeah. Yep. We're going to have some raffle baskets. So, I mean, everyone loves raffles, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are not kidding. Uh, if, if there isn't a raffle with an event and I don't mention it, I hear from the listeners. <laughs> I hear from them. They love raffles around here. Uh, um, so that's certainly a, a fun part of this. And uh, the dancing involved. Mm -hmm. the, we're not talking break dancing. We're not talking like, I mean, it, you, you go out there you're gonna have a good time absolutely mm -hmm. yeah we have a dj coming so and um the dj has done our father daughter dance has come to our halloween at the y so they they do a great job um so we'll see you know they'll have music playing the whole time we'll have areas where tables will be set up they can eat and play games on the tables and then if you want to dance the whole night away you can dance on the dance floor <laughs> it's a great chance to get some exercise get out of the house do some stuff and have fun and again uh the more we have attending this event the more we can have events like this mm -hmm. it's gonna be a fun one uh what are the dates and times for this one so this is on friday may 3rd from 6 to 8 30 p.m there is registration um, because obviously we have to purchase a lot of stuff because mm -hmm. we want to provide food food and drinks yeah. and all of that for everybody. So registration does end by May 1st. So mm. just keep in mind for that. Uh, definitely want to get your registration soon uh, and let the, so they can get those numbers uh, mm -hmm. correct. And we also have a family scavenger hunt coming up. I love scavenger hunts. I was dying to talk about this with you. This is a really <laughs> fun event. Yes, this is a fun one. So in the past, we've always done a mom-son scavenger hunt at camp. And we figure this way, let's get the whole family out mm -hmm. at camp this, this spring. So the event is on Saturday, May 18th from 10 to noon. And we plan on having some snacks and drinks and then explore. Camp is 33 acres. So mm -hmm. we plan on doing different types of scavenger hunts. We'll give 
give you a list of things to find. We'll give you a list of things to collect. We'll hide some pictures and different things throughout camp for you to, to find. And there will be some prizes as well. So it's definitely going to be a fun event for families. Yeah, it's a, a, a not only a great way to do stuff together, but I, I, I think, too, to like really um, like how you're, you're helping kids problem solving. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's something that I think is a fun part of this to kind of with all the fun and excitement gets lost in the shuffle sometimes. But the cooperation and those things, there's never uh, there's never other, enough opportunities to teach kids these things and for them to learn them, let alone from mom and dad or whoever is a part of the team. Mm -hmm. um, that's always a fun part of this. Mm -hmm. But also uh, getting a chance to explore the camp mm -hmm. is is, is such a great thing to be able to do and, and really experience and have fun with. So there's just no downside to something like this. It's such a fun event. Mm -hmm. uh, anything people should keep in mind, especially if they've never done a scavenger hunt before. Yeah, I mean, definitely you'll have to dress for the weather. We don't know what May is going to be like. Oh, so the, the event is happening rain or shine. <laughs> so if you find that it's going to be a little wet, put your rain boots on and a rain jacket and come on out and have some fun. So it's just, and you're going to walk a lot. So mm -hmm. just to expect to kind of explore. If you have little ones, maybe bring a stroller. Mm. Um, but it'll be, it'll be neat to see families creating memories together. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, this has happened. This event is taking place in Wisconsin, so you'll need a winter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and shorts and shorts and a windbreaker and maybe some sweatpants. Uh, you know what? Just wait until the event and we'll, we'll figure it out. Mother Nature lets us know. But this is going to be a really fun event. And again, uh, what are the uh, dates and times again? It is Saturday, May 18th from 10 to noon out at Camp Alexander. There is registration. So make sure to register by May 15th. Um, yeah. 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 And keep in mind as well that this is a, a, a great lead in uh, to the camp open house that's Correct. going on. And it, the camp open house is the same day. What so a which, great coincidence. Yeah. How, how, <laughs> what, how weird that that happened. Like, mm -hmm. no, this is a really <laughs> smart idea. This is a really cool idea to, to kind of, uh, if you will, combine these events mm -hmm. uh, sort of and kind of segue into them. And it segues us into talking to Baxter about camp and, and a little bit about this. How excited are you for this open house? We're finally right here at this time of year where we, we're ready for an open the camp open house. I'm very excited. We spent all last week out at camp. Our campers had a great time in the sun and the snow and the rain and <laughs> everything that you can imagine. Yeah. We, um, so excited. And yeah. we're excited for the open house immediately following that scavenger hunt. It'll be a chance just to come out with your whole family. This one doesn't require a registration. Mm. Just enjoy the property, explore with your family, play some games, camp games, meet some of the counselors. It's really a good opportunity to find out if um, your kid really wants to go to camp or maybe to um, entice them a little bit, yeah. give them something to look forward to. Yeah. You know, um, there, there's a, a lot of friends of mine uh, that, have, that went to Camp Alexander as kids and everything. And uh, talking with them about this uh, just to kind of gear up for the interview today, one of them was asking, uh, well, you know, it, that was like 20 years ago. I wonder how much has changed since then. Uh, and I imagine it's changed quite a bit. Um, and, and Baxter, I know you weren't necessarily there 20 years ago to know what change, has changed and hasn't. But what are some of the things even from last year to this year that is uh, new about camp and exciting about it? Um, well, We've done a lot of different programming for this summer. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to find that there's a, a lot of variety for the kids to choose from. Um, every day there's going to be new activities. Every day we'll swim. Um, the counselors are going to be very involved in a leadership role, um, allowing our other kids to step up and, and take some charge. Um, we have junior counselors as well, and it's it's really just supposed to be fun all summer long, but we're going to have good structure. There's going to be a free thinking model. So the kids will be able to choose the activities they do instead of being told what to do. Mm. Um, uh, it's for everyone. We're going to have times where if you want to go read a book in a hammock for the next hour, that's what you can go and do. We're mm. going to have a lot of opportunity to do what the kids like to do. Um, not necessarily playing kickball all day, every day. Yeah, um, that's is has that is that a change, Baxter? Is that there is that how you guys have run the camp for a while now? It'll be different. It's it's essentially getting rid of a themed week, and sure. without yeah. having a themed week, it allows a parent to choose any week during the summer that their kid would like to go to camp more so conveniently, but still have the opportunities to do the things that they love. So mm -hmm. in the past, if they couldn't go to fishing week and their passion is fishing. Um, you kind of felt like you missed out, but this yeah. year you're going to be able to fish every single week, <laughs> not every single day because we're going to have many activities, 
but we want to allow you to um, play in the water, to make your crafts, to fish, to swim, to do everything you can imagine. Yeah. It gives a lot more versatility to the kids. And, you know, you remember what it was like when your parents or an adult gave you a task or let you decide something? It felt great. It, 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 it's the early steps we take to adulthood and learning what it's like to make decisions on an everyday basis in those. And, and you feel so adult-like. You feel so so big and important. Being able, it, it seems to give these kids a little of that, uh, being able to do it that way. And they don't always make good decisions. Sometimes <laughs> they'll sign up for something they don't want to do, and they'll learn a new skill that they didn't necessarily want to do. Um, but that's kind of the point. You yeah. make mistakes or you choose the right activity, um, and that's where you'll meet your new friends. Yeah. Because you don't know what you have in common with someone else if you never ask. And they get to do those things and experiencing those things in a safe environment, too. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't always happen in real life, in real time and everything. Getting in, getting those experiences in like this uh, gives you more reps, which is so much of life, is, is having more reps with whatever we're talking about. And mm-hmm. the experiences like that are fantastic. Uh, can you tease any of these events to us? Can you? I don't want to give anything. I don't know spoilers here or anything like that. But are there anything that you're excited about that you want to touch on? Oh. I'm excited about everything. It, all of it. it was a, that was a loaded question. <laughs> it yeah, was that's a not really fair. loaded question. Yeah, that's not fair. Um, that's <laughs> you know, specifically, the ice went out a month ago, and mm. I can't wait to get into the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's just me. I love to fish. We have an archery range. We've got axe throwing. So, really, I'm just excited for summer. And the last week, our spring break camp went so well that all I can think is um, – Couldn't this come faster? Let's get a little bit warmer weather. Let's get out there and just have, let's play all day. There is uh, virtually no type of kid that couldn't enjoy camp. But uh, for parents out there with uh, maybe uh, children who maybe have a disability or or, uh, uh, something else along those lines, is there ability for them to to attend camp? Absolutely. Camp's fully accessible. Um, We don't want anybody to feel like they can't come or shouldn't come to camp. All of the activities are able to be done by everybody. Um, We have a great group of counselors already. We're still hiring counselors, um, but those that we have are rock stars and inclusive. They're just some of the best people you could meet. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I second that. I couldn't agree with that more. You got an amazing team over there and always have, uh, really. I, as long as I've been in this town, that why is that great people working there. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the uh, to parents out there that maybe haven't had their kid a, a, attend a, a camp before or anything, um, is there anything they should know or anything they should keep in mind going into it? Well, it can be a different experience for the parents and the kids. Um, both the day camp and our resident camp One, it could be your first night away from home, Hmm. uh, which is scary for both the kids and the parents. But no matter what, we're going to make it comfortable. We're not far from home. It's not like you're dropping them off in a different state and say and see in a week. It's very comforting um, for both sides. And then the day camp, it might be scary to have to go meet new people. It might be scary to um, have someone new in charge if you've never met the counselors or myself. And um, I think... We'll notice a lot of kids breaking out of their shell, um, maybe showing their own personality mm-hmm. instead of what people expect them to be because that's kind of what camp's about. So yeah. it's a good place to learn who you are, learn some of the things that um, about yourself personality-wise that you may not have thought about. Um, very open-minded. You remember in school, you get done, you know, you're the school year ends, you have summer, and then you come back and you see your friends again or see, you know, people you haven't seen in a long time, and so-and-so has changed so much. They seem so different than the last time that you saw them and everything. They probably went to camp. Mm-hmm. They, you know, that's that's a big part of it. It, it is such a great opportunity. I'm, I'm teasing a little bit, but I'm also very serious about this because I have a lot of friends that did this, and um, the, it, was an, it was an opportunity for them to uh, get to know themselves more and find out things they liked and found out more about themselves at a young age that I think really helped them going forward, whether it's in, um, you know, uh, middle school or high school or what have you. There is no more middle school, so uh, high school or whatever. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an opportunity to build themselves up as well, along with all these other skill sets and just having fun. It's just a fun event as well. Uh, a camp can be a great time. Yeah. I find the kids branching out more. As soon as they get home from camp, they'll say, I want to try this, I want to try that. And it's because they just got done trying every activity under the sun. 
and now they want mom and dad to experience it. Yeah. Just do a little bit more. It, it, again, no downside to something like this. Uh, find out more about it. If people uh, want to find out more about this, or maybe we're looking for volunteers, or uh, you mentioned that there is some hiring going on over at the Y, I want to encourage people to check out the website, swcymca.org, swcymca.org. Be sure to follow the Y on social media as well. It's a great way to keep up to date on things that they are doing and support what they're doing. And then if uh, people want to volunteer with any of the events that you were uh, t- touching on uh, earlier, Stephanie, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, they can either call the Y, um, 715-818-9622 and ask for Stephanie, or they can send me an email, slund at swcymca.org. Um, definitely would love, you know, community members to be a part of a lot of these events because mm-hmm. they're a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And Baxter, uh, how about for you? If uh, people want to volunteer with camp or anything like that, how can they get in touch with you? Well, they can use all of the same resources that Stephanie just mentioned. You can also email me. Um which you can find online. Otherwise, it's arndt, A-R-N-D-T, at swcymca.org. Um, we're, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, again, that website is swcymca.org. Be sure to go there, find out more information, uh, and, and certainly follow the Y on social media. It's a great follow. Thank you both for the time. Appreciate uh, everything you guys do in our community and, and what you guys are doing for the youth around here and all of our ages around here. Uh, but also want to make sure to thank you for uh, bringing these flyers, too, so we can talk about them and highlight them in our morning shows and everything. So thank you for the time, you two. Absolutely. Thank you, James. Thank you. Maybe one of these days we can get you out to camp to do your show. I'd love that. <laughs> oh, my fun. God. That'd be a, big, <laughs> that'd be a, a blast. I'll get a couple of our rambunctious kids to come and interview with you. We are doing that. No, yeah. we're, we're doing that. <laughs> Write it down. We're doing it's that. Uh, <laughs> Plan on it. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, and and uh, I want to say a big thank you to Tri-City Services as well, sponsoring this segment. A big thank you to them. We'll be back with more Midday Magazine for you tomorrow right here at WFHR Locally Grown Radio.